Hi, and welcome back to Plating It with Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with ease. With Valentine's Day just around the corner, I'm going to show you the perfect breakfast for two. Straight from Paris, the city of love, we are going to be preparing the croque monsieur and the croque madame. These are the most decadent sandwiches you'd have ever tasted. If you enjoy watching my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. So now let's get started. Let's start by preparing the bechamel sauce. This is basically a creamy white sauce and we're going to start by melting two tablespoons of unsalted butter. To that we're going to add equal portion of all-purpose flour and on a medium flame we're going to start now mixing it together and forming a roux. Just make sure that you don't let this burn. To the roux we're going to add two cups of warm milk. I'm going to add it very slowly so that it does not lump up. To the sauce, we're going to add salt to taste. I'm using kosher salt and some fresh grated nutmeg and some pepper. You're going to have to cook this till it thickens. Just about five to seven minutes it should take. You know the sauce is ready when it coats the back of a spoon. Now we're going to switch the heat off and leave the sauce to cool. To make the sandwiches, I'm going to be using Gruyere cheese. This has really good sharp flavor. And I'm also going to be using mozzarella cheese. That's actually for a little bit of stretch. For these sandwiches, you can use any type of bread of your liking. I've chosen to use sourdough bread because it's a little bit more structured. And I'm going to use some melted butter and apply it to the bread. And I'm going to put it in the oven so that it gets slightly toasted. I've got my oven preheated at 375 and I'm going to puff these in till they get lightly toasted. To assemble the croque monsieur, we're going to apply some of the bechamel sauce to one slice. We're now going to put some gruyere cheese on this. A little sprinkle of mozzarella cheese. And about four slices of ham. Some more Gruyere cheese on the top. A little bit more of the mozzarella cheese. Now we're going to apply some of the bechamel sauce on the top slice. Cover the sandwich up. Apply some more of the bechamel sauce on the top of the sandwich. And then top the sandwich up again with some more Gruyere cheese. And a sprinkle again of the mozzarella cheese. And yes, if you're on a diet, you'll want to press the pause button on the diet for the day. I've used about one cup of Gruyere cheese and just about quarter cup of mozzarella cheese for each sandwich. Now I'm going to pop this in the oven at 375 degrees for approximately 10 minutes until the cheese melts and then I'm going to broil it till I get a light crust on it. To prepare the croque madame, we're going to repeat the same process. We're going to apply the melted butter to the slices of bread and then we're going to pop it into the oven to lightly toast. We're now going to assemble the croque madame, but we're going to take it a notch up. It's basically a similar process. We're going to first put the bechamel sauce on one side of the bread. Then some Gruyere cheese. Some mozzarella cheese. Four slices of ham. Some more Gruyere cheese. Some more of the mozzarella cheese and now to make it a little feisty we're going to put some mustard on the slice this is going to give it a, enhance the sharp flavor of the sandwich we're going to cover this up and now put some of the bechamel sauce on the top some more of the gruyere cheese 
on the top of that and some of the mozzarella cheese to top it off. I'm going to now pop this in the oven at 375 degrees for approximately 10 minutes till the cheese melts and then I'm going to broil it again till I get a light crust and then hold on for the surprise. We're going to top this with a fried egg on the top. I'm first going to plate the croque monsieur and now I'm going to plate the croque madame. I hope you give this recipe a try for your Valentine's breakfast or brunch. I have some more amazing recipes coming up for dinner and dessert for two. So don't forget, subscribe and hit on the bell icon to get a notification every time I upload a new video. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. The information is in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.